Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Rishi Sunak last night accused Nigel Farage of appeasing Vladimir Putin with his remarks on Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The prime minister likened the reform leader to those who, in the 1930s, opposed taking a firm stand against Adolf Hitler's Nazi Germany. Mr. Farage claimed during an interview on BBC Panorama that the West provoked Russia through NATO and the European Union's continuous eastward expansion. The Brexiteer said Ukraine should cede its Russian-occupied territory to Putin. He also proposed that peace negotiations between Moscow and Kiev should take place. But Mr. Sunak told the Daily Telegraph, what he said was wrong, it was completely wrong. It plays into Putin's hands. This is the guy that used nerve agents on British streets, he's doing deals with North Korea. That is who we're talking about here. This kind of appeasement is very damaging not just for our security, but the security of our allies that depend on us and it emboldens Putin further. I talked to Volodymyr Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, regularly, I just saw him. I've spent lots of time with his team. I've been in Ukraine multiple times. The thought that we would somehow be withdrawing our support to them, that there are people who think that that's a right thing to do, I think is deeply worrying. Former Defense Secretary Ben Wallace has also condemned Farage's remarks. He branded him a pub bore, who often says if I was running the country and presents very simplistic answers to actually I am afraid in the 21st century complex problems. In response to the Tory condemnation, Mr. Farage said he would never, ever defend Mr. Putin and noted others had made similar points. He added, being against the Iraq and Libyan wars and predicting the Ukraine war is not appeasement. I'm horrified by what Putin has done. The conservatives believe Mr. Farage's comments were a major misstep and will work in their favor at a time when reform is hurting them in the polls. The prime minister also addressed voters who have become frustrated with the Tories. He said, what I would say is a labor government isn't something that you buy that if you decide you don't like it you can take it back to the shop and return it.